Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. I'm making beef cow tongue. It's translated to lengua in Spanish. It is very tasty. If you haven't tried it, don't knock it till you tried it. It's excellent. So I'm making it in a crock pot, four and a half hours, and it comes out very, very tender. I'm using a quarter of an onion, two garlic cloves, and three bay leaves. I'm adding water to submerge. I'm adding one tablespoon of bouillon. And that's it. I'm just going to cook this until it's nice and tender. It does have a different consistency than steak. It's a smooth beef. Very, very tasty. I'm showing you guys how to make this three ways. So you're going to get three recipes in one. So after it's cooked... It's very tender, but you do not want this outer white part. So you do have to remove that skin right there. This is just short of three pounds. And then all this good broth, it's beef broth, store it. Let it cool off, put it in freezer bags and freeze it. You can use it for a very tasty soup. So here's my cow tongue. It's completely cooked. And I'm basically just going to take off the outside skin. Okay, just like this. So here's the first recipe. I got some of my lengua. I'm going to chop, I chopped it up and added a little bit of mayonnaise, salt, and pepper, and we're making a sandwich. From what I hear, this is a very popular sandwich in Jewish delis. So, added a little bit of tomato and lettuce, and it's a very nice sandwich. Lengua sandwich. Beef cow tongue. Next, I'm gonna make a nice salsa to make some lengua tacos. I have one avocado, I'm adding a little bit of jalapeno, onion, cilantro, and tomato. This is a salsa verde. You can use any brand. This can has seven ounces. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit of lime juice and pulse it all together. And it makes a very tasty avocado salsa for my tacos okay so this is just a little extra look at that right here it's a couple of corn tortillas and chopped lengua and my nice green salsa and this was very tasty so these are lengua tacos with a green avocado sauce so that's my second recipe Yummy. That was good. So the third recipe, you get some boiling water in a big pot. Huh, not so big pot. I'm going to add half an onion. I have a tomato that's very big. Look at that. That's a really big tomato. And I added my garlic. I also added a tomatillo, which happened to be very big compared to other tomatillos. So that's going to be my salsa. I boiled it until it was very soft. Then I add it to my blender. A half a cup of water, a little bit of cilantro, and some seasonings. This is one teaspoon increments, salt, pepper, oregano, chicken bouillon, and cumin. One teaspoon each. And that's my sauce for the third recipe. So I have a big pan. One tablespoon of canola oil. I'm adding the rest of my lengua, the beef cow tongue. And I'm cooking that up for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to add my salsa. And I did not add all the salsa that I made because I made a lot of it. And again, you can put it in freezer bags and store it. It goes great on chicken. You can put it on eggs. Save 
Save it for another time. This came out very tasty, very flavorful. Look at that sauce. It was very good. So with this, I just made some flour tortillas. And I made some burritos. I just ate it with flour tortillas. This was really good. So right here, I'm showing on a plate. I just grabbed a flour tortilla, a piece of flour tortilla, and I just ate it like that. Very, very tasty. So I showed you three ways to make beef cow tongue. It's a very flavorful meat. It's very tasty. It doesn't taste like steak or carne asada. It's smoother. It's just like tender, very, very tender. But you have to cook it a long time. So these are three recipes for beef cow tongue. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to see the rest of my recipes. And I'll see you next time.